Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our ignition timing modifiers. These are gonna be tables found in our ECU that are going to alter our spark timing as our engine is running. So we're gonna be commanding a certain amount of spark timing in our main spark timing table, but we're gonna have these modifier tables in the background that can alter the spark timing. So it can be based on coolant temperature, air temperature, EGR, flex fuel. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of tables that are gonna be kicking in in the background. And we need to know what they're doing at all times while we're doing our tuning because we're not gonna be able to figure out what is going on with our ignition timing unless we can keep track of this. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over the tables that we're gonna find in our calibration file as well as setting up channels in our VCM scanner software so we can very easily figure out if they're applying a modifier during our tuning process so we can figure out where our ignition timing is going. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check it all out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be talking about our ignition modifier table. So if we jump into our engine uh, tab here, we're gonna move over into Spark, and then we're gonna go into Advanced. And we're gonna be talking about the modifiers that can either add or subtract to our values in our Spark timing tables here. So we're gonna find under Base Corrections, these tables are gonna all represent what can present an offset modifier to our Spark timing. So even if we jump into here, if we jump into our High Octane, if we made our high octane and our low octane tables the same, at let's just say this particular point right here, if we pick it at 0.2 grams of cylinder air mass and at 2400 RPM, if we were in our scanner and we were overlaying our spark timing as we looked in the last video, trying to figure out where we were at and what spark timing is being reported, we might not see 40 degrees here. We might see that it's 42 or 38 degrees and we should really understand where the difference in spark timing is coming from and that is going to be pointing at these tables right here. Now we're gonna be jumping in in the second half of this video to add particular channels so we can see which of these tables is kicking in and doing a modifier. But for right now, let's go over what these tables represent so we have a really good understanding of how to set them up if we need to make changes to them and uh, how they work. So I'm gonna go in here and close this. We'll go to our first base correction table of fuel. If we open this up, we're going to see that we have engine speed on this axis and on this axis it's going to be our EQ ratio. Now this is going to be a fuel air, not air fuel, but fuel air requested or what we're going to be having as a, uh, a EQ ratio. Now this value comes from, if we jump here into our fuel, into our power and rich, we've went over our, we went over our wide open throttle tuning in another video and this 